Hey everyone, Sessa here, and saying this to my IMAX haul, vlog, and footage, so I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up there, follow me on Twitter down there, and let's get started. Okay, so I'll start with the vlog, and then I'll do the footage, and then I'll do the haul. Okay, so I got to IMAX, and there's so many booths. There was NYX, MAC, MAC they didn't have a lot. I looked at the vanilla pigment from MAC, but it was too shimmery, so I didn't get that. But they only had, like, very limited stuff. They had... Yavy Face Atelier, uh, Crown Brushes, Royal Brushes, NYX, I don't think I said that, and a whole bunch of other places, but the only busy place was NYX, well, only really busy place was NYX, and that's where I basically spent most of my time shopping, was at NYX, because I love NYX so much, and it's cheap, and it was just, everything was on sale, and it was so good, uh, I love NYX, you'll see in my haul, I got a lot of NYX stuff, but... Yeah, there was a lot of people around. There wasn't that many people. I think there was more people the first day, but I went the second day. Um, you just go, and I bought my ticket there. It was $45 with tax. And you get in, and you get this little um, IMAX Toronto like wristband, so you, they know you're like part of IMAX. And I just walked around for like, I thought it was really for like an hour. I was there for like two hours shopping. There was a food court. There was some crazy makeup being done. I think I took some pictures of that and some footage, so you'll see the footage in a second. Um, didn't meet any YouTubers, unfortunately. I knew Purse Buzz was there because I tweeted her and she tweeted me back, but I didn't get to meet her. But I had so much fun, so I'm definitely going to go again next year. And it was just a lot of fun. So now I'll insert the minimal footage I got. I didn't really take a lot of footage because it was just kind of hard to take footage and... I wanted to focus on shopping because it was just so crazy at NYX. I was just trying to get my stuff. Um, tons of glitter stuff. I don't know why, but there was so much glitter, especially at NYX. It was so crazy. But, yeah, I'll insert the footage and pictures. I think I got one picture. Um, but, yeah, and then I will do the haul. So, here's the footage. So, I went to IMAX, yay, sorry, on um, Sunday the 7th, I went around 12, for about two hours I went, close the bag, that's royal, crushed in the back, I bought, um, but yeah, it was the Toronto Congress Center, so I went in there, I didn't get Benefit High Beam, but Benefit wasn't there, and I wanted nail polish, but nail polish just wasn't there, so, um, basically the only stall that was like really crazy was NYX. No. I bought a couple of things, I didn't buy too much, I bought a lot of NYX stuff, so let's just start with NYX. So I bought four of their individual pot eyeshadows. Okay, so I've been looking for a nice mattish sort of white for a long time that actually shows up in your inner corners, which, I don't know. I did an eye look with um, the palette I'm going to show you in a minute, which I'll talk about in a minute, but my inner corners actually do look bright, like white. See, my inner corners actually do look bright because of this. So, this is NYX eyeshadow in ES02 white. It's just a white, it has like a diamond shape. It's really pretty. I'm not going to swatch this one because it's just white, but it's a really nice stark white and it really does show up on your face. Then, I've been looking for a dark purple forever. I went to MAC and I just couldn't find one. So this is Eggplant, which is like perfect. ES143 Eggplant. I actually kind of love this. It's beautiful. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. And it's very similar to Cranberry from MAC. And I have this today just right there on the bottom of my lash line. Kind of right there. Just like above the wing. And it just brings so much pop to the eyes. Um, next time I do a neutral look, I'm going to put this, only this, in a crease, in the crease, and no brown. And I think it's going to be beautiful. So I'll swatch this one. Those are really, really pigmented, too. So 
I just swatched. Um, it's really good if you want to do it wet. Um, you can do it wet for eyeliner if you want. Really pretty. Then I got this color because it was just so cool. Um, everything's like out, so you can swatch everything. And this color just looks gorgeous. It looks really similar to Star Violet from MAC. Like, identical to Star Violet from MAC. This is E94 Luxor. Luxor. And it's like a purple shimmery color with a lot of blue in it. Kind of similar to my nail polish that I have from Rimmel. Similar kind of similar kind of tones to it. Okay, this is the color. Oops. All these were, I think they were four dollars. So that color right there. Can't really see the blue in the swatch, but it's really pretty. This color I bought, um, I wasn't gonna get this, but I just it looked so pretty for crease. It's E7 ES100 Dallas, and it's just like a nice taupey color. Kind of similar to um, Satin Taupe from MAC, but not as shimmery. That's this one, Satin Taupe. Um, but I couldn't pass this color up. It's just like a nice kind of grayish brown color. A little bit of shimmer. It's just a really, really pretty color. So look, watch. One swatch. I'm just going to touch it. And then the pigmentation is like ridiculous. So they're really pigmented. Love all of these. They're really good quality. And... I don't know, I just love them. They're only $4, so I was so excited. I just got one more NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Um, this one is very similar to Yogurt, which I already have, but Yogurt, I don't like. It looks muddy on the lids. This is just in 614 Lavender. And it's just like a pretty light purple. I got it for a base under um, the next pigment that I have, which is in my Massive Haul. I don't know if that's up yet. Um, and under her alter image from that. Then I got two eyeliners. Um, I got the Super Skinny Eye Marker. This one's in Carbon Black. They only had black, um, but I mean, black is fine. And I, everyone talks about these, so I decided to get it. Kind of similar to the Penultimate Liners from MAC. Really, really thin tip, and it's just a nice black color. I use this today for my wing. But yeah. It's kind of similar to, it's kind of harder to use because it is so thin because I'm really used to using um, the felt tip liner from NYX which I already have um, this one's the one I already have and it is a lot a lot thicker it looks like that it's in brown but that's that one and then this is this one so it's a big difference but I, uh, I like them both. They're really good. And they're just liquid, liquid felt tip liner. These are about $8, and I love this one. And then I also got another one. This is actually for your brows. And this one's in medium. Um, but I use, I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. And it's just the same thinness, but it's brown. And this, it says it's medium, but it's actually really, really dark. But I like this. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm excited to. From NYX, I got this palette, and I was like, hmm, do I need another neutral palette? And I decided that, yes, I do. It was $6, and there's triple eyeshadows, and this was in Nude, Taupe, and Dark Brown, TS03. And these are the prettiest neutral shadows in the world. I used it on my eyes today, and I am in love. This is, like, my new palette, my new go-to colors. So, they look like that. I used it on my eyes today. I used the light color light color all over the way it looks white but it's really not um there you go that's how it really looks i use that color all over the lid i use that one in the crease i use that one to darken up the outer v and then i used the um penultimate liner penultimate. i used the black super skinny eyeliner to wing up my eyeliner then I use the white on the inner corners and the eggplant just above my lash line. And I think it's so pretty. So I love, love this palette. So I'm just so happy I decided to get this palette. So this is the white color. The, like a light kind of champagne shimmery color. And then this is the taupey color. And this is the dark brown. They're just so pretty. This palette is just perfect for every day. And it's just, it's awesome. I'm going to take this when I travel and only take this. The little sponge dip applicator and it's triple eye shadow for sexy eyes only and it's just so pretty and i love it this is my favorite thing that i bought for sure oh actually i actually no, i can't say that i like this the white and the eggplant color 
I just got a NYX eyelash curler. Just a regular eyelash curler. $3. And I got a NYX brush. Because I was waiting in line. Because the line was so long at NYX. Because every, every, literally everyone was at NYX. Um, yeah, so I, got, I was waiting in line. And I felt this brush. And it was so soft. I thought it would be perfect for the crease. Looks like that. It came in this little pouch. Um, when I went to wash this... It, it bled, like it, it bled color. So I throw out the towel that I used, but um, yeah, I have to see if I'm gonna use this because it did bleed, so I don't really know. But it was like $4, so. And then I bought a Stila Lip Glaze for my mom in grapefruit, grapefruit, or watermelon, watermelon, um, cause I heard they were good and they were only $18. So I got her that, and I got her an eyeshadow too, a light purple. And last thing I bought, I was astonished to buy this and I wasn't planning on buying anything like this but when I saw it I couldn't pass it up. These are royal brushes and it's like a brush roll. It says royal on the front. It's leather and you get 12 brushes inside plus the pack and it was $15. Like seriously? I took all the brushes out because I cleaned them all. But it is such a nice brush roll. Like, it's so nice. So that's the brush roll part. Come with 12 brushes. These black ones, though, just like the NYX ones, they bleed. So I didn't wash these because it'd be really, really dirty. Um, but these brushes I love. I used another one for my eye look today, so I'm off that one out. But there's just eyeshadow brushes, a couple of eyeshadow brushes. There's this eyeshadow brush. There's a really, really thin detail brush. There's a sponge tip. There's an angled brush. There's a, like, smaller kind of brush. There is a feather brush. Just so incredibly soft, like so soft. It's a fan brush and then there's an eye lash, eyebrow brush and then there's also uh, a spoolie for like your eyebrow. I use for my eyelashes and it works really well. That's that one. There's also this eyeshadow brush as well which I use today for my eye look. But yeah, $15 for all these, it was an amazing deal, and I'm so happy that I bought them, because it's just an amazing deal. And then, I thought I'd just throw this in there. I went to my beauty supply store looking for a gold nail polish, because I want the China Glaze Holiday Collection, because there's a gold and a silver. Um, but they didn't have that, they didn't have any China Glaze, and then I went to another place, and they didn't have China Glaze, so I was like, okay. But... They had the new burlesque collection at my bee supply store, which I saw in Haley is TCV's video. Her talk about it, and there was two colors that I kind of wanted. One was another collection, I think. Um, but I decided to go with this one because I don't have any colors like this, no dark colors. This one's called Teasy Does It. And it's like a brown kind of red color, but look inside. Can you see it? It's not really picking up on camera like how pretty it is, but there's like red and orange and yellow shimmer. Red and orange and yellow shimmers inside this color, and it's so pretty. So, I took my nail polish off. I had, um, light a candle on, which is like a purpley silver color, but it was shipping, so after I met, I just took it off. Next, I'm going to paint my nails with this color, and definitely I will do a video with this color on, because it is so pretty. You can't see it on camera, but it's just so pretty. So, yeah. That was my iMats haul and vlog, and footage, and random other haul. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe up there. Follow me on Twitter down there. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.